Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle Channel. This video is going to show what I'm doing for testing with the Omnicell Weldless Kit for vibration. So I have a vibratory tumbler here. I'm going to load the battery into that and I have a light running so I know that the battery is still functional. It's not a huge load right now, it's just a couple of LEDs, but I want to run this for days uh, and see what happens. Uh, I have a, a stopwatch here so I can uh, record the time that it's been vibrating for. And yeah, so I'm going to get this loaded up and I'll show you what it looks like inside the tumbler. So inside this tumbler, um, I've put a bit of extra ballast um, with these tins and a rock. <laughs> I've also wrapped the battery and I've got it wedged in. So it's not going to be rattling loose around here because really a battery wouldn't be rattling loose around like that on a bike or on a road or on a rack or, or anywhere really. So I'm trying to be as realistic as I can with my with my ghetto stuff. Um, so I will seal that up and show you how it's being tested. So the battery is safely installed inside here. I have my light here so I know that power is still flowing and it's operating correctly. I'm going to uh, flip it on and I'm going to start the timer and uh, yeah we'll see how that goes. It's in a fireplace because uh, just in case, just, just for safety really and I have a, a fire extinguisher as well. So I'm going to let this vibrate a whole bunch and uh, I'll come back and, and update at regular intervals. So I've called a stop to things after, here we go, after nearly 23 hours total. And I didn't do it overnight, so it's, it's been over a, a few days. And I came in and I found that the machine had kind of like come apart and the lid here had come off and it was, it was vibrating all around in here. And uh, the, the battery was really getting like shaken all over the place. So I, I've stopped it and I'm going to have a look at the battery and show you where we're at because it ripped the, it ripped it out of the plug when it was wrapped, all the cable was wrapped around the top. So it ripped it out. So I, I can't see whether it's on anymore with the LED lights. Um, the battery seems to be in one piece and um, we'll have a look at the battery and I'll tell you where I'm going to go from there. So the first thing I did is to basically check that the BMS is still giving a reading. And we've got 12.32 volts, which is in line with, with how it should be. The next thing to do is really just have, have a look at, at the battery itself. And I did notice that there is um, some damage on the exterior, like here. You can see where it's been grinding up against the surface. I mean, it, I, th I think it is quite violent, that thing, particularly towards the end when it was much more loose. I mean, being shaken in a way that you would never really get on a vehicle. Um, all the screws are still in place. Um, there is some damage on these. There's some cracks on these parts here and here. Um, so if that had, you know, another couple of days, would this slowly start to, to come apart? It, it's possible. Um, I'm not going to use this one anymore i'm going to take this apart and i'm going to do a video on that actually and show what i think is the real power of a system like this not necessarily this one but the system and the flow of materials using that but anyway um, i'm going to take the cells from that and i'm going to put them in this unit here and this is uh, a variation that i've created um, on the design and it's using bolts to, to hold it together. So I want to see if, if, if this will work, if, if the stresses will, can be held with the, with the four bolts. Um, do you points here as well? Uh, if you were worried, I guess, about these coming loose, you can put a little drop of uh, super glue down these and it would still be just as, just as recyclable or reusable. Just break, break the glue off. Uh, also looking at maybe printing them with this stuff here. And this is a new filament I saw. Uh, from Prissa and this uh, is a self-extinguishing filament apparently so having a self-extinguishing plastic in and around these components seem like it might be a good thing anyway I'm going to tune the filament and try printing some stuff with it and see see how it goes uh, I've also got a, a 10s BMS here 
from daily and I'll be doing a 36 volt pack with those as soon as I get some more uh, more braid because I don't have any more braid at the minute. So anyway, that's where we're at with this. Uh, I'm going to get this one built and do some vibration testing with this version as well and see how that goes. And then there's a few other things that uh, I'm planning on making it easier to integrate the BMS with this. So lots more to come. Anyway, um, I'll talk a bit more about this in another video. Thanks for watching this one. And uh, when there's some more testing results to bring, I'll, I'll bring them. Cheers.